If I said that was the craziest shit I'd ever seen, would that be the most obvious statement ever? Shay has been through a severely traumatic experience. Okay. Second most obvious statement ever. Continue exploring his memories. The best is yet to come. to see you're feeling better thank you uh, mr finnegan was it sweet mother mary have we taken in the village idiot barry remember shay i'm cassidy and this is barry <laughs> you've been ill for weeks i hate to have been a burden see he's a civilized fella i for a clumsy deckhand probably fell off his ship half drunk Barry! He's right. What do y'all want? <gasps> What's going on? <sighs> you wretch, how dare you! Shut up, woman! Leave her alone. Ah! Now, what are you going on about? Stay out of this, you fool! Well, I was going to, but... Now you've made things personal. Finally, some excitement. <gasps> oh. Thank you, Shay. In my younger days, I could have taken them one-handed. Why were these men bothering you? Ah, the usual. They feel their owed money because they're not harming citizens. Mark me words, those gangs are going to be the downfall of this city. Wait here, I have something for you. It won't do you any good walking around Starkers. Here, try these on. They were our sons. I suppose if you're looking for trouble, you'll be needing these. Thank you. Don't you look a right, gentleman? Gas. Did I have a book with me? Mm, just those peculiar weapons. Thank you both. If you'll excuse me. And the manuscript is at the bottom of the Atlantic.
What have you and your friends got against the Finnegans? Uh, I got no gripe. Uh, my boss sent me over. Ah. And where is he set up? Y you can't miss it. There's always black smoke rising from the courtyard of that building. That will help us smoke. Be at ease, Master Cormac. We are friends. The Finnegans were worried you might take matters into your own hands. I am Colonel George Monroe. Colonel? I came to help, but I see I am late. Thank you for dealing with these foul criminals. They were a blight on New York. What do you care? You redcoats are nothing but landlords. The townsfolk here are grinding away, trying to make a living. I cannot blame you for having that impression. Some of my comrades have been less than helpful. But I take a different approach. And what is that? I care. I want to see these colonists safe and prosperous. Noble words. Perhaps actions will convince you otherwise, Master Cormac. Here. Reclaim what they have stolen. Now let us use some of that money for the good of the city. I realize you have no reason to trust me, Master Cormac. You said you were a friend of the Finnegans. I am. Their late son worked for me. You are much like him. Oh, so? He cared. And he wanted to do good by the people. We shared a dream, he and I. That of making the world a better place. He is survivor. Better. It almost sounds like you have goodwill towards the people you govern. has struck Lisbon in the kingdom of Portugal. Tens of thousands of souls... See this neglected edifice, Master Cormac? We can make it better. Urban renewal is a new science, but one that has already proven effective on the continent. I have arranged for resources. Use them to improve that building. I suspect New York will prosper under your watch, Master Cormac. You can do great things for this city and its citizens. After all, a man needs purpose. Farewell for now, Master Cormac. Uh. 
The colonel strikes me as an honorable man. Someone who wants to do what's right. And he may have a point. With everything that has happened. With what I've done. I can't change the past. But maybe there's a future for me here. And maybe, just maybe, I can do what's right this time. I should head back to the Finnegans. Let them know I'm fine. Shay! Colonel Monroe told us what happened. You, sir, are a fool. But thanks. <laughs> Master Cormac, I am sorry to bother you when you were barely out of your sick bed. No, I... I've had enough of being cooped up. Then perhaps you could get a friend of mine out of trouble. He discovered a nest of criminals developing strange weapons. Look at these. Bullets as loud and bright as firecrackers. If we might have a moment alone. His name is Christopher Gist, and he might be in over his head. I fear these brutes will hang him like a dog. I will not let those outlaws have another victim. Good. The villains are entrenched at Old Fort Arsenal. I have urgent business in Albany. Please tell Master Gist to join me there. Did you hear, dearie? They are hanging a man in the old fort. Oh, it would be a shame to miss that. Shay Cormac. Charles! What are you doing here if you don't mind me asking? The Colonel sent me. Aha! Not on my watch, Toad. Good show, Shay. Ran them right out of their own dead. Well, I was looking for a new place to live. Well, don't put your name on the door yet. There may be a few men left on their ship. Look, the bird is nested right over there. The Morgan. What is she doing there? That's my ship, friend. Begging your pardon, but I must go fetch her back from those louts. Wait! I can hardly let you do that alone. Help me if you can, then. Keep your wits about you, Shay. Criminals are everywhere. And most of them look just like law-abiding citizens. And they've been harassing the people who've nursed me back to health. Sounds like good folks. They are. Perhaps you know them. Barry and Cassidy Finnegan. I've never met them, but I knew their son. Careful now. These ruffians can be anywhere. You can draw them out by making noise. Oh, I've got something better than that. Well, you seem to be more than capable of taking care of this matter. <clears throat> Tell you what, I shall find a new crew for your vessel, in case you have to leave post haste. Die! So long. 
She's a fine ship. And true to my word, I found a crew for her. I did leave one position unfilled, though. Tell me, Shay, do you have a first mate? He's... long gone. Then I apply for the post, Captain. Welcome aboard. As your first mate, may I suggest our next destination? The Colonel will be expecting me to report back. My thoughts exactly. Colonel Monroe said he'd be in Albany. Splendid! on Albany. I wonder what he has in mind for us to do next. Us? I thought you just wanted to check in with Monroe. Not sign me up for the army. Not at all, Shay. But I admire the Colonel's ideals and want to make them happen. What kind of ideals? Secure borders, prosperous farms, fair trade. We need those in these wretched colonies. Sounds like a high-minded utopia. It rather does. Want to help make it happen? Colonel Monroe is an intriguing man. We barely and he down certainly on seems honorable. We'll head for Albany. Drop After anchor. that, I'll see. In good health, I see. Yeah, thanks for the captain here. It's a fine vessel, Captain Cormac. Thank you, Colonel Monroe. Master Gist, did you learn more about our conspirators and their new weapons? Well, only that their base of operations is a French fort further downriver. It's a little close for comfort, isn't it? If the French have installed a fort in our territory, they are likely preparing an assault. New York could burn. Will you join us, Master Cormac? Aye. Enough innocents have died already. Uh, might I suggest we improve our vessel? The Morrigan is good, but with a few more supplies, she could be unstoppable. And you know, there's a French outpost nearby, I happen to know. I like the sound of that. What sort of business are the French up to there? Just occupying the territory? It is an economic incursion more than a geographical one. Some of the ruffians are sponsored by enemies of the colonies. They intend to undermine local authorities. 
I've heard they steal from civilians and resell essential goods for ten times the price. It's always the little fella who gets skinned. Colonel, you and Gist here seem inspired. There's something in the water, or the whiskey. Why do you say that? I think Shay here is skeptical about our intentions towards our fellow man. I understand, but there is no need. I simply want these colonies to be a place of safety, development, Who's and purpose. Gallants and royals? Funny. I thought rich men wanted them to be a place of profit. I am not a rich man, Master Cormac. Money is a means to an end. Not an end in and of itself. Cargo adrift, Captain! Says you. I think it's a fine end to a game of cards. Not far now, Captain. Hold down! Hold down! Anchor away! Charles, tu remplaces Terrien jusqu'à ce qu'il se remette de sa blessure. Félicien, j'ai une mission spéciale pour vous. Suivez-moi. Good show, Shay. Now let's use those materials to give the Morrigan more firepower. We will need more powerful guns before we approach that fort. Splendid! That fort and the defenders will tremble before the Morrigan. It's the captain's ship! Loose and cut Your ship way. is in fine form, Master Cormac. That fort should offer little resistance. I rather hope the frogs offer some, else this will be a dull day. I never wish for battle, Master Gist. There is plenty around here for any of our lifetimes. Besides, 
If we find the fort's commander, the French will surrender, no? Indeed, that is a sensible strategy. But we will have to wear down the fort's defenses first. Otherwise... Knock her down like a game of nine pins! Begin by hitting her towers. As the colonel says! They have reinforcements, sir! Fire! Not but air! On your marks, Captain! Fire! I don't like that! There, Captain! A good shot at finisher! Of wood. Loose capsules, gallants and royals! Brief it on! Superb! Now find the fort commander! Chasseur. Say, it has been so long. Were you on a special mission? Yes, from Achilles. How interesting. So am I. Don't make me do this, Le Chasseur. Do what? Assassinate me? I thought that was your specialty. We could both just leave. Ah, but then I would tell your brothers that you are alive. You have to kill me, Shay. Not on my watch, Toby. <laughs> I promise you that. Who <laughs> brained you? A one-legged circus monkey? <laughs> Skill <laughs> so close this time. You are always good at your business, Shay. As were you. Tell me, what are you doing in land? Special weapons, poisonous gases to use against colonial authorities. I am merely a delivery man. Then may your final delivery be swift. Chasseur was right. I... I had no other choice. If the assassins find out I'm alive, they'll come after me. The Colonel thanks and congratulates you, Shay. He has returned to New York. But you look troubled. Do... Do you ever wonder if you're doing the right thing, Gist? If you chose the right path? I used to, my young friend, but not anymore. Not since I met the Colonel. That wants to question. 
The French are entrenched in our territory. It's a... About time it... And, but not anymore. Not since I met the Colonel. And what's the question? The French are entrenched... Aaron. Ah, Master Cormac. What you have learned from Le Chasseur was confirmed. The local lawbreakers are changing tactics. What's their plan now? Their boss has hired Benjamin Franklin to produce new weapons for them. He's very well guarded. Benjamin Franklin? The scientist? You have heard of him. Good. He is making equipment to spread gases among the populace. Toxic ones, as it turns out. The populace? I thought they would use it against the authorities. Though that would be terrible as well. The ruffians we have arrested refer to an intimidating woman. I believe she is behind these nefarious plans. I look into this. Thank you. Hope. I pray it's not you. Good to see you again. Your friend Hope said you were away. I, I, I was. Uh, sir, I, I've come to collect the results of your experiments. Oh, well, it's a very good thing then. I just finished fixing the prototype. Here you go. I was preparing to leave for Philadelphia and then Europe. I was invited to lecture in London. Oh, would you be so kind as to inform Mistress Hope? Of course. God, Hope. What are you doing with these felons? Turning the city against itself. What have you become? Something the matter, Master Cormac? Uh, no, no. Yes, just old memories. When I am issued new recruits burdened with regrets, I tell them the surest way to lose them is with gunpowder. You're right, Colonel. This prototype seems very powerful. Use it with care, Master Olmec. Our intelligence says this thing can destroy certain fortifications, as well as injure several enemies at once. There is also a more subtle way to use it. Some of these grenades contain a strong sedative. Fire one into the crowd and they will fall asleep immediately. We should test this new weapon. Use it against that door. Use these grenades to destroy that door. Good work. Good work. I think you are ready to turn this new weapon against the ruffians who would have used it. There is an abandoned factory nearby hiding a dangerous poison. Right now, it only causes sleep. But I fear those outlaws are distilling it. A more powerful formula could sicken or perhaps even kill most of New York. And that's my first target. Be careful, Mr. Cormac. We understand that you agree to All the better. I got you! Oh, 
paper that is dangerous <laughs> Must get out, or I'm as good as dead. Clear the way! He's getting away! Must I do everything George, here? Please help him kill him! I don't care! I have as clear a shot as I can get. What marvelous destruction, Captain. I saw the smoke all the way from the Morrigan. That should discourage those miscreants. New York is safe for now. With all due respect, Colonel, it's going to take more than a few explosions to get rid of this kind of trouble. The boy is right, Colonel Monroe. Shay, was it? Congratulations. You just burned a whole lot of rats out of New York. I'm Jack Weeks. This is William Johnson. I don't know about him, but I'm pleased to meet you. Nice to meet you as well. It is, uh, terribly dusty here. I'm sure Shay can recount his adventures to us over a pint. Hey, the first round's on, uh, the Colonel, huh? <laughs> is something the matter, Master Cormac? Just a little confused. I uh, must have breathed some of that gas. Some ale will do you good. Come, we are all friends here. You will be taken care of. <laughs> 